G'day all, it's Timogen here from SL Colonies and today we've got uh, the vegetable field uh, or the large vegetable field which I want to show you it's this beautiful patch of mud right here now it works a lot like the other fields except we've added a couple other little neat features to it which I'll uh, show you guys now so the first step is obviously the ploughing and with this field as you plough, um, as usual, the bottom layer will start to reveal itself, as you can see now. In this case, there will be 12 rows of vegetables um, that will grow on this particular field. We'll just wait for the uh, working process to complete. Alright, so with these fields, we've actually got a new stage uh, that you need to complete um, to start the growth cycle, which is to fertilise your lands. Uh, we've added a new tool, which is a large bag. Now these large bags can be made in a basket weaving station, um, and uh, you fill it with fertiliser. Now the fertiliser is made at the compost bin, um, you add pig dung to it, from the pigs, you can collect dung from it every hour. You add two dung to your compost bin and you will get one fertilizer unit per three and a half hours. So um, if you're a farmer, you'll remember the recipe, you can do like a uh, hundred dung for 50 fertilizer and over a week if you like, and have it ready for your fields. You'll only need 10 fertilizer per field. So here we go, use it, 10 fertilizer, fertilize, and I'll start the animation. It looks like the seeding animation, but it's a larger bag. and you can move around with this one uh, for a bit of role play if you like and the next step is going to be seeds I've got some tomato seeds I'll use for an example in this field but if you've got more seeds, obviously they show up here. You'll need a hundred of them. You can get the seeds from the CXP store. And when you harvest, you have a chance of getting back some seeds as well. With this one, you can move around as well, if you like. Obviously don't move off the field or you'll uh, cancel that, that work and have to start again. The final stage is going to be to water. So you need a clay jar. Not the clay pot, the clay jar. And 10 water. And as soon as you finish watering, it will start growing. Uh, it will take one week. Uh, all our other fields are about to be set to one week as well. We've had them set for one day recently just for uh, to make it easier for people to get food. But for the purpose of this demonstration, I've set it to 60 seconds so you can actually see the vegetables growing out of the ground. In this case, tomatoes.
Alright, and once they're grown, obviously you can harvest them. Um, you get 10 harvests. I'll do a harvest just to show you. It's still using the sickle. Um, which is just for to make it simpler. I've also decreased the harvesting time for the purpose of this video. So this is ready to go. And you can click here. Now, a new feature we've done, I'll show you while I'm harvesting, I suppose, is the hover text that comes up on the fields while they're growing. So while it's growing uh, and it takes a week, you'll see the hover text permanently on your field, right? Or even when you're working. So for example, while I'm working, you see this harvesting going on, right? As the owner of the field, you can left click and hold and then release and you'll get oh it's probably because I've got my tool on. Let's have a look here. Left click and hold. Ah yep, and release. Now you can obviously as usual set spawn points for other objects, but let's show the hover text. I can now disable this. Now, as I'm harvesting uh, with my sickle, you will not see the working hover text anymore, and you will not see the growth um, of your field either. See if it still works while I've got the sickle. Should. No, it doesn't like it because it's detecting my tool. No, there it goes. Hover text on. Now, as with the other fields, um, you have a chance of getting. Uh, just one item or you might get multiple tomatoes plus you have a chance of also getting seeds so in this case I've got five tomatoes I didn't get any seeds but anyway um, that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys next time